Hi guys! My name is Annika and I do lifestyle and travel videos here on this channel and today I will be talking about my hair growth. In a previous video I mentioned that I want to grow out my hair again and I want to document it this time so for me I, it doesn't feel like it's never growing and it's always staying in the same stage because if I document it I know how much growth I have and so that I know what I've been through and to inform you guys of what happened with my hair before I want to share my whole hair story from the beginning with you today. Like I mentioned, I want to document my hair growth. So here's the story from how it all began with my hair and maybe it is helping others to help grow out their hair again. I know it is patience, 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 and it can take years till you get your dream length. So if this helps you, leave a comment down below if it can motivate you to do the same and here's my story. My first piggy tail. I had really thin hair in the beginning, but it grew really quickly and I got little curly dark blonde hair as you can see here. I had bangs and you can see my tips are really blonde. Getting curly, the blonde is slowly growing out. That was kindergarten and no more blonde. My hair got really long really quickly as I grew up. It got darker and more wavy. And here, my first big haircut. Yep, I went short. But it grew out really quickly after that. Next time, growing it again and cutting it again really short in my teenage years. 27. That was 08, growing it out again. 09, getting pretty long again. That was 010 my longest hair and I went to the US after that and it was so damaged due to the horrible water quality in the US and I had to cut it during my year in Indiana and yep that's it after it was short again on my 19th birthday but I let it grow out again that was in Texas. My hair is slowly getting longer, but due to the water quality in 2013, I had to get regular trims at the hair salon and yeah, it had just like bra length. In 2014, I was back in Berlin and my, as you can tell, my hair is getting longer. That's where I met Marco. He met me with long hair and that was after our engagement. My hair was pretty long. He is a long braid in 2016 and that was my wedding day. I got ready for the wedding and you can tell my hair is really long. I let it grow for a year without trimming because I wanted long hair for my wedding day. And that's it, but you can tell lots of hairspray, lots of heat and that damaged my hair like crazy so three days after the wedding that's what my hair looked like it was thin it was damaged and i just couldn't braid or brush through it anymore and that's why i decided to cut it and that's how short it turned out because it was so damaged but after that it felt so much more healthy and i was happy that i had healthy hair again but at the same time I was sad because I wanted to keep my long hair so I decided to let it grow but this time healthy and strong so in the beginning of this year I started documenting it with pictures and I took one in January because I felt like my hair never grew and actually it did grow within 10 months a lot so you can tell um, and that was in February and now we have a picture in March So yeah, this is where I am at right now and I've also already tried lots of tricks how to get your hair healthy and soft and shiny and I will probably make some videos about that soon. But that's a whole nother video and if you want, don't want to miss out on that, 
make sure you subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!